welcome to Cinematorium. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Flick flicks. No, that's not a pick a flick. <laughs> welcome to wait. Dollar store driving. And no dining. The, without the dining. Yep. So no sped up video of us uh, eating food. Just us talking about the movie that we watched last night after the pick a flick episode that you saw yesterday. So I'm Joel. <laughs> I'm Laura. We are the newly deads. Mm -hmm. I don't know for how much longer based on, you know, the... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. I am just kidding. Uh, no. no. I don't mean that we wouldn't be married. I mean because I the don't... channel might close down because, you know, we're... Because I'm stupid. We're silly. <laughs> oh no, I, I did it the other mm. couple videos now in a row. Joseph. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, the movie we watched, in case you've forgotten, is this one. I'm hoping it zoomed or did what it's supposed to. And um, yeah, it did for a second. I have I have notes. Remember, it says macro on the thing when it when it focuses. Yeah, I got an education from my wife. Yes, yesterday. Whenever we did it the last. One time. of the days. One of the days. She's always educating me. We're learning from each other, though. That's he took right. notes. I did because when we wait to do the video oh, until yeah. the next day. Why did she do that? Um. Sometimes it helps, and so right now there's this light on my face I'm noticing. Here, let me, um, you want me to read the premise again? The premise? The premise the of premise. Dear Diary. Yeah. Every time I would read this, I would I would say Dear Kitten. Like, did you ever see those commercials from the Friskies? Dear Kitten. Yes. If not, look them up. They're on the YouTubes. They're funny. And then also look up the, uh, the drug spider. <clears throat> It's a documentary about the effects of drugs on spiders. Just look up the word drug spider, you'll find it. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. Uh, when a psychiatrist researches a young girl's diary to find out why she murdered her entire family, he begins to fall into the same state of insomnia and confusion that led to her to lose her mind. Sleep at your own risk. I did uh, last night. I slept at my own risk. Is this a spoilery? Oh, yeah. We can... Okay. 2019, I think, if yeah. I remember correctly. So, I mean, basically it begins with, like, this, like, family, Son right? comes home from school. And, like, the the teenage daughter's, like, weirdly jumping up and super happy to see him. And, like, I don't know. I got a weird vibe from her. But then they cut to a shot where she's in the kitchen when they're making dinner, and she's like... Evil. Like, yeah, she just looks like... Like, the dad's like, oh, you're doing so great in school, son. And she's like, like, for no reason. Like, there's no, there's no backstory. There's no, like, why is she acting this way? There's no, like, antagonist, right? And then at one point she looks directly, like, off at the director or the people on the side when it's close to the end of the scene. She's, like, looking off, you know, like she's supposed to. And then she's like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Pay attention. Yeah. And, and it's... I don't know. It's it's all shot on video, um, so it's definitely a low budget affair, which is fine. We, we you can get away with that, but you notice it really quickly that it's you know the equivalent of shooting on a cell phone or a or it could be this type of camera too. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's no exposition. There's no real logic as to why why she started this diary or like what made her sleep but not sleep and think she was sleeping and then I mean it got weird like weird uh, like incesty like weird well for like a second i told you i got weird vibes from her from the very get-go and then i was like i was right like just in the middle of the night everyone's sleeping and then she takes a hammer and murders the dog like you don't see her actually do it but i mean you know well, she comes over it. to the dog and the dog's wagging its tail and i'm so happy to see her i'm like oh it's a good boy and then she you know hits it with a hammer and i'm like no it's not a well, and, and at the dinner, I guess we should back up a little bit, because at the dinner, she made the lasagna or whatever, and then all of a sudden the dad's like, I don't feel good. I'm going to go lay down. And then he goes and lays down, and <laughs> then it's... Then and then it's nighttime. More or she less. murders the dog. The mom gets up and says, I don't feel good either. And then so she, she like goes... goes downstairs for some reason. Apparently this really nice big house only has a bathroom on the first floor. Or maybe like I was telling Joel, maybe she just doesn't want to poop around the husband. Oh. That's, yeah. I don't want to poop around my husband either. I don't want to poop around or my anything. wife. Um, or and, anybody. Yeah. No. Or the dog. Or anything. Mm -mm. No. Um, so yeah, then she just like murders her mom and then murders her dad and then 
uh, gets onto her brother and, like, rips her shirt off. You don't see it, but, like, it's, she's under it. it's like, side boob thing going on. And then no murders the dad, or murders the brother. It was just full back, no, no boob. The girl's 15. Oh, the side boob was for the movie. That was the yeah. other movie we watched. This one we watched Terrifier too. That was also a teenager. Yeah, but she was... She was side boob. Anyways... Uh, Anyway, I yeah. don't know how old she was supposed to be. It was, yeah, I was this like, they say her. why? Why and, did they have to throw that in there? There's no reason for it. Well, and the thing that that's really confusing to me about the whole thing is that it's brought up later when they read the, they finally read, like, in the very last scene, the cover, the first page of the diary, which says, this diary is cursed, you know, don't read the diary or else you'll be cursed too with the same blah, blah, whatever. And they make reference to that passage earlier on but you don't actually hear it and the question is why is that even why does that even exist why did she curse the diary to begin with there's this whole like big chunk of storyline missing yeah there's like they just keep saying like boys don't make diaries only girls do yeah and (laughs) why is that why don't why don't boys make diaries i had a diary when i was a kid yeah but then they like then they like cut to these new people and you're like who are these people? Like, there's no, like, segue into, like, anything except for the fact that, like, this guy's sleeping and wakes up and he's like, where's my wife? Oh, she must have left me. And then she, like, comes in the room and she's like, "You, we've got a funeral to go to. So I'm thinking, oh, it's the funeral of the people that the girl murdered or whatever. No. No. It's just, just, a, just a separate storyline all of a sudden. And then, like, um, he's like, well, I don't want to go to the funeral because, like, they're my coworker, but I didn't really work with them. Do I have to go? He's just, like, this horrible a-hole that, like, yeah. And, and, like, him and his wife are constantly joking about stuff, but, like. And she says she's funny. She's not. She's mean. They're, like, both <laughs> mean to each other all the time. And, like. Incidentally. Yeah. I realized this morning when I was getting ready <laughs> what, what Southern Kissing means. You literally just realized what Southern kissing meant? Uh Uh-huh. Tell me. Well, because she's got a slight accent. So you're like, I'm like, oh, she's from the South. So it's like a Southern thing. You know, you something they say down South. But then that, and it's relating to, you know. You can say sex. The naughties. I don't want to get demonetized. There's no money. not monetized anyway. What are you talking about? (laughs) But then I realized that, you know. If you're going south, where are you going? And you, know, you so. just realized that this morning, even though I kept saying it to you all like the rest of the night, saying like, "Want some southern kissing?" Like uh, just joking. Yeah, I didn't. I, you know, because you, you're so sweet. If you French kiss, you know, you're like. Mm. So I was like, maybe there's something there to that. But then you know, <laughs> I thought you understood it like I, right when I did. I, nope, I was in in the shower and I was like. Southern, oh, like a light bulb went off. Dear. And it He's was just this thing. innocent, innocent, sweet I'm not, little, though. like, That's puppy. That's just it. <laughs> I'm not. That is really funny. But, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, the movie's, it's, uh, oh, so cute. It's, it's poorly acted. The, the, I mean, the, it's super short. It's, like, There's very no boring for exposition. There's only one part in it that I was kind of, like, that it was oh, kind right. of interesting, or that it was kind of, that I was like, oh, well, that was actually pretty successful, was the guy's getting up to... The, so this is the new guy that didn't want to go to the funeral. Yeah, he gets up in the middle of the night and... Because uh, he started the, reading the diary. Yeah. You have to, like, say that. Cause so, like, the, when, they went, when they went to the funeral, they realized that the guy that died oh, right. was her psychiatrist. And he'd been reading the diary. And he'd been reading the diary, sleeping. and then... Acting Died weird. by suicide. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> and then supposedly <clears throat> shot himself, I think, in the chest. Yeah, he shot himself in the chest. Yeah. And then um, she also died by suicide by hanging herself in nope, the cell. No, she choked herself. She didn't hang herself. She choked herself. Oh. Which they said, how is that even possible? Because hanging yourself, it, you know... That, oh, she like happens. choked herself? She choked herself. Okay. That was the, 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 the catch. She choked herself. and uh, um, So he starts reading the diary to take over the case. Yes. Because his boss is like, you need to yes. take over and finish this. Because it's not even his boss. It was like another co-worker. He's like, colleague. I'm going, oh, right. I'm going on a, a cruise with my family. So it, I need you to finish this. this guy's work that you barely ever like worked with and didn't really know. So he starts reading it. He stops sleeping, yeah. supposedly. 
gets up in the middle of the night, goes to the hallway bathroom to pee instead of the one in his own room. Again, weird bathroom habits, but I understand. I get it. But anyway, so he's in there. He thinks that there's something in the shower. Uh, eventually, there is a creepy ghost version of his wife. I believe that's who it is, or I don't know if it's, or it's and the, the girl. girl. In, then, in the shower. And then he goes back to bed eventually. And pulls, pulls the covers up. And there's the creepy. And that's the only part that was effective because it was dark. It was the same person that yeah. was in the shower. It was poorly lit. She was making the creepy, you know, ghost face that they make these days. And it was actually somewhat <laughs> effective. Yeah. But then the next morning, his wife gets up and is all up in his grill about uh, she's upset because he's so messy. And, and her logic was. That, or the reason it was so messy is because there was a towel that he had left on the floor of the bathroom. In his daughter's bathroom. That was just a, just a towel sitting on the floor. It wasn't wet. wasn't like right in like, front of the no toilet. Like there's no reason for this like dialogue to go on. Sitting on the floor it, next It does to the nothing door. for the story. <clears throat> She's like, now I've got to wash it. You're, this is terrible. I can't believe you did I'm like, what is happening? Who has this argument? I don't know. I don't even understand like... Why? Like what it had to do with anything? What was the point? It had nothing to do with it. I mean, the the movie cost a, a, a buck twenty five, and I, I feel like it was a dollar twenty four too much. So it's worth a penny. Maybe. I mean, maybe for that one shot, and because it's provided this two two uh, I'll pay you a episodes penny for a spooky ghost shot. <laughs> for for t- it provided us with content for two episodes, which hopefully the content is more entertaining than the film it was itself. Um, there was a shot where he wrecks his car, and we're pretty sure that they just taped a garbage bag to the the steering wheel to make it look like an airbag, and then shot the car from the back so you couldn't see that it wasn't actually damaged. Uh, there was a shot with some rain in the cemetery, which thank you to McClellan's uh, funeral home for sponsoring the shoot in the cemetery and allowing them to shoot. Big like yeah, advertising. Because there was a big sign or there was a big uh, tent over the uh, funeral. And it had their logo on it, and they had actually set up, like it was like a and it looked like a real funeral. And then the rain started, and everybody ran like it, like it was a downpour, torrential, like insane hurricane rain. Which Laura was pretty sure that that what happened. I think they were just spraying him in the front, like probably with a hose or something, and like it was getting on the car that was like right in front of him, and so it was enough to like. Make it look like it was raining in the back, but I really don't think it was raining where the people were in the back part of the. What you said shot. last night was that there was a, the director and his buddy were like, "Oh yeah, hey dude, I got a rain machine." Well, because they kept showing rain things. They're like, "Dude, the whole movie. dude, we've got we've got this rain machine. Let's make a movie." And because they <laughs> and they just built a movie around the rain machine. If you've ever seen behind the scenes footage of a uh, a movie being made where they use a rain machine, there's these big like. Uh, rods that go out over and then they've got spigots and then it you know it it spins and it throws the rain out and it looks like a rain effect and if you shoot it from the right angle or it's high enough up it does look like rain it looks like rain but if you see it initially and it's spinning it creates like this kind of cone or or you know right circle where it's at like a hoop skirt of rain and there's a shot in the movie where because i thought they were just using like a hose like we initially thought and then in the shot in the movie you can see there's a shot here and a spot here where there's this hoop skirt of rain that's crossing over yeah and it doesn't look natural at all yeah and it's because they're using a, a rain machine and i'm yeah. not entirely sure that she's not wrong that it was somebody was like dude i got this rain machine kind of like tammy and the t-rex where they're like hey i've got access to this uh you know this robotic animated tyrannosaurus can you do something with it and he's like sure let me write a movie and they wrote a movie and then they made the greatest film ever made Ever? The greatest film ever made. Okay. It's so good. If you've never seen Tammy and the T-Rex, you should. And then... The gory version, not the... And then tell Joel if you think it's the greatest movie ever made. I mean, I'm maybe exaggerating a little bit. But man, oh man, was it fun. Uh, Um, Yeah. And then the, the other thing that I don't think was intentional, but towards the end, and the big climax were about 10 cops come and advance on the main character and shoot him to death all at the same time with his colleague who was supposedly on vacation but suddenly just came back and knew that he had read the diary and now is going crazy and like uh is standing out in the rain again um oh after he murdered his he murdered his wife right yeah the cops show up after he's murdered his his wife's cheating on him 
He shoots the wife's lover, then shoots her. Uh, the the kid, we don't know what happened to the daughter. She never showed up again. Um, but after oh, he yeah. shoots his or shoots the lover, his wife is like going to the kitchen, and he shoots the lover one more time, and then he's going to go after his wife. But before he walks away, right after the last shot, and she screams, it goes, and it sounds like he farts. I don't know. I don't know that what happened. I don't know what the sound was. We rewound it like ten times. I couldn't figure out what exactly was causing the sound, but it sounded like he farted it before he was going to go chase her down. I'm like, it's kind of anticlimactic. Um, or he was just ramping it up. Or that was his way of kind of stepping up his, his A game to, you know, make sure that she knew he was serious. Because if you fart in front of your lover... You fart in front of me all the time. I know. But anyway, yeah, then, then they, yeah, the big climax, they shoot him dead, he dies, and because he's telling, the ghost is there the whole time of yeah. the 15-year-old. Yeah, and for whatever reason, they think that, you know, just because you have hair in front of your face, it's going to make you creepy and scary. Which, if you're a creepy girl ghost, and you've got makeup on, and, you know, there's some effort there, it works. But if you do it like they did it, it's just like a girl who's, they put her hair in front of her face, and... I'm sad. I don't know why. But yeah, he's like, yeah, I need to wake up now. I'm not dead. And no, she's I'm not. Like, no, I'm not. Ha, 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 ha. No, I'm not. I'm not dead. I'm not. No, I'm not. Boom, That's what boom, she kept boom. saying. Do I remember? They had, yeah, they had a kind of a, a really weird argument. He's like, you, you killed yourself, and then she's like, no, I didn't. It's like, I know you are, but what am I? Kind of argument. Yeah, it was just like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And then they, the cops, all advance, shoot him all at this exact same time. He dies. The uh, janitor shows up with the box, and the, the the guy that was going on vacation, that was his friend, is sitting at his desk, and he takes the, the journal from him, and he's like, "Well, I can work on this big case file that's going to take me hours and hours, or I can do this simple little task of reading this journal and doing a quick report." So what does he do? He starts reading the journal, reads the little warning at the beginning that it's it's been cursed, and. Uh, as far as you know, the cycle starts over. Yeah. I just realized that on the front, it says, you know, the Dear Diary thing. Her journal is a gateway to hell. Hell is really boring. It's so boring. Apparently hell is just a giant bore. With a bunch of people who don't know what they're doing. And make inappropriate sexual advances towards their siblings. For no reason. It's gross. Yeah, it was... It, it, there was very, a very, very... Poor excuse of a first, second, and third act. Uh, it was an hour and seven, or an hour and It was 78 minutes, minutes. Or an hour and 18 minutes. It felt like it was an hour, maybe. 45 minutes at best. And that was too long. Yeah. Um, I would not say that that's a horror movie at all. I feel like if they would have given you some more exposition, made a couple of, of slight changes, that it might have actually been okay. Yeah. Like, explain um, Why? Why? Incidentally, Why is her diary so evil? The title is Wake Up. Yeah, was she into, like, some sort of, like, uh, I don't know, mysticism or Satanism or, I don't know, a lot of that stuff has I think nothing it, to do with this. But Like, she's supposed to be, like, Samara or something. I don't know. It just there wasn't enough explanation as to what made her journal so special. And they've got all these awards. I think that they just, like, went and grabbed those from somewhere and just stuck them on there. Maybe they're in awards like for, yay, you did it. You made a movie. You did a medal. Every kid gets a medal. You know, maybe that's it. They're just like, you, and And the yeah. print is so tiny. Oops. So, I don't even know where you're, we were at. So, we, 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 the battery died. Sorry. We're still learning the camera. But anyway, um, we were talking about the end of the movie where... Um, I was just saying, I had ended. this. Oh, we were talking about the awards and how it seemed Oh, right. Like, yeah, they're so tiny on here that I can't even, like, read what they are. And I don't have my bifocals on right now either because I'm 80,000 years old. No, you're not. Um, you're younger than I am. But, yeah, so, I don't know. Are we rate these, right? Yep, one out of... Five? Mm-hmm. Yeah. you got to figure out what's... Diaries? The, is that what it is? Yes. I'm just going to say five diaries. Hellish diaries. Yeah, I feel sorry for hell. They need a place for these people to go that's not hell and not heaven. The Library of Doom? Isn't that purgatory? 
I mean, that's that's where they hang out, but that's that's even that's gonna be you know kind of the library where of doom. Maybe like their own special place for like bad diary movies. Yeah. But anyway, so one out of five diaries. How how, how many diaries? One out of do you five get? possessed diaries. Yeah. How many do you? Um, do you get it. Can I say a half? It's our thing. We or can zero. Say whatever we want. Can I say no diaries? Zero. You can. I would never watch this movie ever again. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not, I have no desire either. It may become background for us someday if we have a studio. Uh, we'll make like a little wall of like Crap. dollar store do- drive-in Oh, well, that'd be kind of cool. And it'll just be part of the wall on the back of like the movies you watched. But uh, yeah, I don't need to see it again. It's not like Ouija Room where I was like, oh, I might actually watch that again. This one I wouldn't watch Ouija again. Was so, um, was so cheesy. So though. for me, um, I'm going to give it 0.5. Only because it's provided some fun. And it was that one conversation. That one. The fart and. Southern kissing. We'll probably start you know, using that more often. And the, the 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 quick shot of the ghost face, which was somewhat effective. Yeah. So I'll give them a half of half of diary for that. I'm but, giving them no diaries. But that's it. So. Um, I don't know if we're doing this for the rest of the month, if that's the plan or what's happening, but uh, look more for these because we've still got uh, 17 more movies to watch. 17? 18 more 18 movies 18 more watch. movies to watch. And there's some in there I really want to get to. Yes. There's Voodoo Apocalypse. Voodoo Apocalypse being number one, but I, would, I also want to watch Shark Night. I want to watch the one with James Vanderbeek and the octopus. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what it's Christina called. Christina Ricci one. Yeah, James, James, James Vanderbeek, Vanderbeek and the octopus. Vanderbeek versus Vi- the beak. Um, mm-hmm. and I also want to watch the one, uh, about the, the heads in a jar and the serial killer one that's got some actual names in it. I think Daniel Harris or something. I don't know, but there's some actual names in it. And yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm down. So there's, there's stuff there. There's good stuff. And there's more of this. Not, not this. I love this. There's more no, of No, the me. movie. The movie's over here sitting <laughs> by the alley, so. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, where can they find us? They can find us on the interwebs at thenewlydeads.com. See if I can make that work. Yeah, that'd be cool. Ooh, there it is. I was trying to make it spin away, see if I can make it spin. Because I have very limited access. At some point, maybe we'll <laughs> learn how to do stuff on the computer. But right now, it's He's doing a fun. fine job. It's okay. Um, yep. And, uh, yeah, we're working on things. As Slowly. far as, like, you know, artsy things, I just need to spend Got a, a weekend a or something or a things, day, yeah. like, focusing on it and saying that this is the day that we are going to work on the website more. Yeah, because there is there's so much content just in here, not not including her stuff and the stuff she's working on. I also want to <laughs> start selling. I do... Um, wood burning. Wood burning, and, and I, I, I paint, um, you know, stuff, so... Yeah, I want to figure out how to put that up there. It's like one of a kind stuff, though. So yeah, it's not like the stuff we've been doing on the tablets. That it's reproducible, and uh, you know, it's endless as far as how many you can make of it. Yeah, but the uh, wood burning stuff is like I'm sitting here burning a piece of wood and then painting it, and yeah. So we'll see. I'm gonna work on it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this was entertaining to you. If uh, you want more we'll be back and check out our other videos on our youtube channel yeah instagram tiktok and find us on facebook but i'm joel i'm laura we're We're the the newly Newly Deads. deads have a good one